Hello and welcome to a brand new series of tutorials on image processing using OpenCV which is the open source computer vision library. This software is freely available and extremely powerful. It can be downloaded from www.opencv.org. Now in this lecture we will first configure OpenCV with the Visual Studio. So I have extracted my OpenCV in the C directory. Next we will set our environmental variables. So I'll just go to the advanced system settings, go to environmental variables. I will first create a new variable. I will name it OpenCV DIR and it will be the path to the build directory here. So that's my path. I will just copy it and paste it here. So this is C, OpenCV and build directory inside that. Once this is created, I will just edit my path here. I will add the path. So I have my variable OpenCV underscore DIR. Inside that build I have x86. Now if I have a 32-bit processor then I go with the x86 one. If I have a 64-bit processor then I should follow this path. So I will go with this. Then we see 12 and there is a bin here. So I need this path. So that is x, that's x86. It was vc12 and bin. I will say ok here. Ok. Ok. Now this is done. Next I configure my Visual Studio. So I'll just open a new project. It's going to be a VC++ project in the Win32 console application. I will name this as first. Say OK. Next. Remember we'll create an empty project and then finish. Once this is done, I need to be sure that my debugging here is set to Win32. So this seems fine for me. Now I will say view. Go to the other window and see the property manager here. In the property manager, when I expand this, there is a debug here. I expand the debug and I can just right click and I say add new property sheet. I will add it. Now I will just see the properties of this. So first we go on to the CC++ one. We expand it. We have a general section here. In the general section, there is a section here for add additional include directories. So I will just edit this and I will specify opencv underscore dir hash include. Okay. Once this is done, I will go to the expansion of the linker here. Go to the general part here. In the additional libraries, I will again edit this, add new values add opencv dir. So I basically have to go to this folder. I am going to see opencv build. That is my opencv underscore dir. I will go to x86. If your processor is 64 bit, you will go to the x64 one. Go inside the vc12 and library. So I have to go to this path. So vc12 oblique library. OK. Then in the linker I have another input part. So in the additional dependencies I will again edit this. Here I have to add all those libraries which are present here so you can just see them. I go to this library and here all the libraries which are ending with D here. I have to copy the names of all these libraries. You can see here all these libraries which are ending with a D. I need to add the names of these libraries. So I have them stored here in the notepad. I will just copy them here, add them here, apply and OK. So once this is done my property sheet is set. I will just go here say source file. I will add a new item and I will add a C++ file called source.cpp add. Now this is how my configuration is done. I can simply write my programs here, compile them using the local window debugger and see the results. So we will continue with this lecture series in the next turn. See you in the next one. Thank you.